spooky season has rolled around once again, and you know what that means. Inktober, the art community's child that we abandon every single year. And you all know that I get desperately lonely, so I invited some creatures. YouTubers. Ew, who would, who would do YouTube? To participate in Inktober with me. Guys, I don't know if this is the best idea. The rules for this are actually quite simple. Each artist I invited will choose four prompts for themselves, and then I'll throw one prompt of my choosing at them to spice it up. And because I love to make things more difficult for myself, I had each artist choose one prompt that they want me to have, and then I would choose one prompt for myself to sort of remedy the chaos. Every artist, including myself, will have five prompts to incorporate into one Inktober illustration. Let's go choose some prompts. I would not be surprised if we all chose the same prompt to give Sailor. Oh <laughs> no! Like we did! I think we have a very big problem with Sailor sketches. What? Because who's gonna go first? Everyone wants to go first. I think the easiest solution is to go Yay! alphabetical. Yeah, yeah. 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 Alphabetical, like, alpha. So who wants to go first? Me, me, me. You know what? Skynet's just go first oh, because yeah. you guys are being babies. <laughs> Okay. I know Sailor's gonna ruin it though by giving oh, me some stupid no, no, prompt no, like yours. No, no, but, 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 but. I chose sun, remote, horizon, and violin. I can't wait to see how Sailor ruins it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I am gonna throw the prompt camera at you. Camera. Okay. You know what? That's not as bad as I thought it would be. I feel like I probably made that work. Mm, who should go next? Maybe a cloud. Oh, that's me. I chose very similar things, but we're just gonna say that Skynix copied me, what? so um, I chose scarecrow, violin, rust, and sun. Damn it, Wait, Cloud! What? Those was one of the prompts I was gonna choose for you! Let's go! No! Words. Uh. Everybody, everybody pressure Sailor. Sailor! You are taking so Sailor. long! No, please! Sailor. Please, this is difficult! I haven't used oh, oh. <laughs> Let me go! So it's actually crazy how long you're taking. You hurry up! No, shut the fuck up! Okay, Cloud, you must include camp. Camp. Ooh, okay, okay. Oh, ooh, I'm brewing, I'm brewing. <laughs> now. A battle to the death between- No, wait, before you choose, before you choose, before you choose, I want you to look in- Oh my god! <laughs> you want to choose me so badly! Oh my Ooh, I'm going next! Now Seb has to give his statement. Vote me for president. Sorry, wait, is that the wrong thing? You've got my vote! My feelings are very easily hurt. That's true. And Sailor, as a very close friend, you wouldn't want to hurt my feelings. I'm pretty sure you're cancelled if you don't choose Seb's, to be honest. Whoa! Mine is hike, landmark, boots, and backpack. Oh, I see how that's right together. You see. Wait, hold on. <laughs> what the f- what the f- what the f- Why is it looking at me like that? What do you mean? Check the- check, check the group chat! What is that? What are, what are you talking about? Oh shit! Oh, I think bro is gonna have to draw some snack action. Oh my goodness. <laughs> What the is heck? that bad or good? Hello? No, that's great. I love snack. Mm. Okay, Adrotic, you better go now before Seb says something unsavory. What the heck? <laughs> I've never said anything unsavory in my Shut life. Up! <laughs> For my prompts, I went ahead and chose Scarecrow, Rome, Sun, and Grungy. Of course you did. That's no Adrotic core. Yeah, you would. Guys, that's so on brand. Literally, no one else had theirs critiqued but yeah. me. <laughs> Respectfully, Your Honor, you went there. <laughs> Clearly, my pants are not on fire. Clearly. Yeah, because you peed the fire out, guy. Hello? No, no, I would never. <laughs> I'm just gonna throw in Jumbo because I think that would be kind of cool. Jumbo. Dude, oh. let's go. I'm adding Jumbo <laughs> Josh in the background. <laughs> You're gonna ruin my fucking week. I'm gonna go first. You gotta draw some big old boots. <laughs> boots? Boots. Boots! I fully thought you were gonna choose something else, and now my confidence level has lowered. Sailor, you, you've been nice. You've been nice, but also. No. What? Of all the things, why is rhinoceros on here? <laughs> Don't you make me draw a rhinoceros! <laughs> oh, no. I was gonna choose rhinoceros! <laughs> no! You should, you should be like, and another rhinoceros. <laughs> <laughs> yes! One rhinoceros and one more rhinoceros. No! Now hear me out. If I just chose rhinoceros, <laughs> no. I'd be, Okay. Well, in that case, Sailor Sanchez, you are gonna have a wonderful time. <laughs> You're gonna, you're gonna have to figure out how a rhinoceros wears a backpack. Guys, I don't know if you guys saw, but uh, I think a great one. You know, you know me personally. My favorite, not my favorite. I, I, I don't want to see. It. I'm just like, it, it's crazy to me that no one, no one picked that. One. I'm not involved with uh, these people. <laughs> I'm currently staring a hole into the back of your brain. <laughs> no! Are you serious that you want me to do this? 
<laughs> no, my actual one. Uh, <laughs> so I've picked Jumbo. Jumbo. Ooh. So I'm getting Jumbo? Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we have boots, rhino, backpack, and Jumbo. What the actual <laughs> fuck is wrong with all of you? <laughs> no, what yeah. the hell? I'm gonna try and rectify this, and I'm gonna pick ex expedition. Ex oh my god! Expedition. Expedition. Oh, and before I forget, I'm not allowing anyone here to use any color. It is Inktober after all. Okay, chat, I'm gonna be completely honest. I cook, I cook with this drawing. Oh my goodness. I think it looks really cool. Let me, let me, let me tell you how I, so I had to make a black and white drawing uh, with these five prompts. I had, to, I had to include sun, remote, horizon, camera, and violin. For the camera prompt in particular, I already had a very clear idea of how I was gonna include it. Uh, Sailor had a good idea that I completely stole uh, <laughs> where they said it should be like, like the piece should have some kind of like camera over like the drawing is being filmed through a camera so I thought that was a really neat idea so uh, I chose to make this piece a drawing of someone being filmed through like one of those iPhone camera lenses and obviously the person being filmed is playing violin another one uh, of the prompts besides those two I had to also include sun remote and horizon which I feel like all three of those prompts are kind of like similar in vain right so I decided to just put the character in some kind of like sunset landscape where you can see like the horizon line in the background I feel like that captured like the kind of remote kind of place you can see the horizon and obviously the sun's there so that kind of captures all of the prompts. I think in the end the piece turned out really freaking cool. It's got this like nice nostalgic aesthetic to it that I feel like the black and white kind of thing kind of accentuates as well. So I'm really happy with how it turned out. Let's see what the others think. So I chose the words Scarecrow, Violin, Rust, and Sun. Had a pretty clear idea of where I wanted to go with it. And then I took all of that and threw it into the bin because I've been given camp as my last word. Thus creates the lore behind this piece. A lone scarecrow, the last of its kind in an abandoned field, shirks its long attended duty of standing still and scaring crows, as the name may suggest. He has a dream. A human dream. He wants to be a musician. And in this scene, Scarecrow Guy has just broken free, burning the stake he was tied to in a makeshift camp as he plays this old, rusty violin for the very crows he was meant to scare. Probably terribly, considering he's never played a violin before and it's practically fallen apart in his hands. I really enjoy playing with the idea of the sun, using the tarot card interpretation to show a new day and a new life for a little rebellious Scarecrow. I don't know, I kind of like how it came out. What do you guys think? I went into this challenge with the prompts Boots, Backpack, Rhino, Jumbo, and Expedition. I was left thinking about these prompts for days, never touching any paper or tablet because I was quite literally idealist. But then I randomly remembered a collab that I was in on Skynix's channel and recalled the work of True Green 7. And how their artwork kind of gave like a Pokemon adventure vibe. And then I knew that I had to make some sort of scenic landscape. But what's a scenic landscape without a character inside of it? So I went straight to designing a character that had some boots and a backpack, which ended up being scrapped in favor of an apple basket. Sorry, Adriatic. But to keep the Pokemon theme alive, I decided to uh, give this kid a rhino. It's not a Pokemon, it's literally just a rhino, but like, you get the point. For my art in a general sense, I want to get better at conveying story. So the tale I have for this drawing goes as follows. This young person lives in this valley in an apple farmhouse with their parents. They asked their mom if they could make a pie for dessert, and the mom agreed, but only if they went and got the apples themselves. So they put on their boots, strapped on the rhino's backpacks, and set out on an expedition. The only issue is that it's late in the afternoon. So in this frame, we are seeing this young character rush home with a basket full of apples to make apple pie with their mom. This scene is an insane showing of a jumbo perspective of their home, the valley. And like I said, I, I just wanted this drawing to have a Pokemon vibe to it, so let's all just act like having a rhino as a pet is a normal thing. I am so happy with the way that this drawing came out. I don't really work with black and white values a lot. I like to use bright colors. I love the color red. Do you see my pants? You're blinded. I'm sorry. It just had to happen. Just want to say a quick thank you to everyone in this video. I love them all. You should go check them out. Except for maybe Skynix. That was a joke. <laughs> so, lore update. I'm going crazy. I forgot to record my top screen, so uh, I kind of missed the majority of my sketch process. So that sucks, but anyway. <laughs> for this, I really wanted to do something kind of more out of my range. Um, so I went for that more curvilinear perspective, which I don't think I accomplished as well as I would have wanted to do. 
Um, but I did think I got what I wanted to do in the end. For my props, I got backpacking, boots, hike, and landmark, um, which are kind of all things that I really wanted to highlight, but I didn't know how to highlight them all together. Um, so originally I was going for something that would have like my character kind of backpacking around the world because I thought that would get really the whole idea. But then I went for something more where I'm like, oh, well, I'll take the landmark and what's a good landmark? Uh, I don't know. I don't know any landmarks. Um, so I just went with the rock one, I guess, <laughs> and try to fit it all together. But in the end, I'm kind of happy with how this piece came out and I think it looks kind of okay. My first thought with the word Jumbo was Jumbo Josh. <laughs> My second thought with the word Jumbo was portraying an ancient creature long since passed and now one with the earth. Before Sailor gave me the bonus word, my original idea was to have this grungy scarecrow kind of just roaming around the world, like with a whole exploration vibe. So with my original idea and then my new idea, they kind of go together perfectly. So what I did is I had the scarecrow in front of the sun overlooking what used to be. My biggest struggle with this was working in black and white for color which I've never done. I should get better at that, but for, for this, I struggled. It wasn't much, but what I tried to do was use darker colors with the skeleton, just to kind of convey how it's become just part of the earth. It's no longer the monstrosity it used to be and is now just part of it all. This drawing made me realize I need to work with values more, but other than that, I enjoyed it. It was a fun piece. You know what else is fun? Subscribing to Sailor Sketches on YouTube. Wow, with notifications on? Crazy. Now recording. <laughs> Today's is I'm Guys, are we in a YouTube intro right uh, now? Clearly not. <laughs> okay. So, uh, Okay, everybody shut the fuck up. <laughs> okay, let's really see, excited. let's see this crazy cool piece oh, I came up with. Oh, 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 damn. 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 I see someone stole my idea. So I had a great idea in the call, that is and that was to use like the phone camera. So that's what I did. I think it's fun. Um, I can't help but notice there's a little bit of color in there. Uh... Oh, you cheated. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. Cloud, if you want to go, you can go. <laughs> if I want to. So I have a choice. I could just like... Yeah, what if no! Cloud kind of doesn't want to go? <laughs> All right. I kind of like how it came out. This Ooh. is what I ended up doing. Oh my goodness. Wow. Holy oh, shirt. Old. Look at that. It's freaking spooky. This looks so good. And you will notice that I didn't put any color in it, unlike a certain sky. None whatsoever. God damn it. I got boots, rhino, backpack, jumbo, and then I added expedition for myself. Didn't you get another prompt? No, I did not! I did not leave me out of this! If I don't see feet in this picture, Sailor Sketches is disqualified from their own collab. So I basically decided to kind of go with like a Pokemon adventure theme. Yo. No. Oh my goodness, a rhino is so small, so small and little. So yeah, I didn't really follow Adriatic's prompt because I didn't like it, so... <laughs> what? Guys, we're such nice friends for each other. Guys, we love each other so much, you can you can really just taste it in the air. <laughs> guys, group oh, hug, no. guys, let's do a group hug Ew. right now. So you better animate this. No! <laughs> <laughs> These are mine, not feet, that was for Sailor. No! Cute! Oh, that's so cute! Ooh. What's he doing? Is he gonna fall? Is someone gonna push him off? Yeah. No. <laughs> I'll take the honor. Me too. We can do it together, Sky. No, dude, that's not a hard drop. Guys, let's yeah. commit murder together. Yippee! Okay, so this is this is the first time I'm kind of messing with black and white. So I experimented with like the the lightish being the focus to Charlie. Ooh. I don't know. <laughs> Yo. I love this. Yo. That's so cool. Where is Jumbo Josh? Wait, my bad. Hold on, I can fix that. <laughs> There we go, is that better? Yeah! I had plans to upload this like a week before Halloween, but I just really wanted to make this perfect, so here we are. I'm recording the end of this voiceover on literally Halloween day. Also, it's snowing outside. So ooky, so spooky. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you to my friends inside the video. And also, thank you so much for the people who made me fan art. I love you. If you want me to see your fan art, make sure to tag me. See you guys in the next video. I'm gonna try really hard not to make it a month in advance. <laughs> Guys, play still recording quickly. Say something again in the video. <laughs> Subscribe to Sky Exact. No! You have to, it's a lot. <laughs>